I'm fired up now. I'm fired up. I got uh, Salah gave me some. Uh, this, what is in this stuff, anyways? Rebound. It's called rebound. Well, you really can't see it. I don't have the thing in front of me, but I'll do review on the energy stuff too, as well. Okay. Um, but first, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the new the Glexo stuff. All right. So you probably already seen this you've heard about their cold glue uh, which we're going to talk about but we're really going to be talking about this hail kit we're going to mention these new sonic tips and then the wipes that we see right here uh, these wipes are supposed to be uh, the shizzo for rizzo uh, when it comes to uh, prepping your panel and it's called surface preparation system uh, we will do a full review on that. We're going to do a, We're going to get into this. So uh, the whole point of this is talk about what's out there from Glexo. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of unwrapping, unboxing right here, and kind of go over the tips and about what I've been using so far and what I think. You know, we'll, we'll, let's just talk about it, right? First of all, I'm going to go into this. We already know about the sonic tips, right? The sonic tips, now, are they really meant for shrinking metal? Uh, can they shrink metal? Uh, the verdict is still out, right? Now, nobody's really shown how they work, but I'm gonna show how they work because um, they do do it to a point. But, like I said, the main part is that you really have to know how to be a good tech already when it comes to this. So um, let's let's take a look at some stuff here. So the, the, these were created to shrink metals, like basically tighten up uh, an oil can dent, something that's very stretched. And pretty nice little box here too. Kind of reminds me of a Bretling box, you know, if you get uh, any in a, like a watch. Now they have the, the I would say, the not so high, you know, uh, high end tip like this one. This is the, uh, this is the magnesium tips, and uh, this one is just basically. Let's just let's just open it up, and see how it how it looks. Now my hands are dirty, man. I am a PDR tech, you know. I do work once in a while, so forgive me. Let's take a look at this here. Yeah. Wow. It's even that one looks really nice. Look at that. Sparkly, sparkly. This thing looks like jewelry, man. Hey, how you doing, huh? Yeah, hey, you want to punch in the mouth, huh? Look at that, huh? Hey, look at that, dude. Uh, Tom Brady. I won three Super Bowls in the Spike Bowl. <laughs> look at that, dude. Yeah. So, looks pretty. Let me, let me hold. Let me compare. It's pretty cool. I mean, the the design and the, the I'm gonna say the the craftsman. Even even if these don't work, uh, let me let's see. E even if these don't work, they look beautiful. I mean, I mean look at that. Uh, uh, hey, how you doing, eh? Like my jewelry. This, these things look, these look good. I mean, they, they did a really, really nice job at designing them. Now, these are, I do see you have to polish them once in a while, but look how clean that looks pretty nice. Like that. I like that. So, the verdict is, that's, that's not what I'm really talking about as of right now. We're going to, um, this is for a later review, and I know you guys have been waiting to see uh, how good they work before you buy them. I don't blame you. I really don't. I'm going to put those aside. Um, take that, put that around the side, too, as well. We'll leave that out just for now. And we're going to open up this one. See how this one, this one looks, too. This is not going to be much different than compared to that one. But they call these the, well, this is the Sonic Series 2, but I would say the silver. Uh, I, 
I guess if you want the super fancy colored one, I don't see any big difference. Uh, you got your branded logo right there uh, with the Glexo. Like I said, super nice and they good, great craftsmanship on there. It's very pointy, very spiky, very sharp. Uh, ain't no doubt about it. Actually, let me take a double look at that. Maybe, let me just see. Yeah, it does kind of, now they're the same. They're pretty much identical when it comes to that. Look at, I can get it focused right there. Yeah, they're pretty identical. So again, we're, we're gonna see how well they shrink metal. I've done a little bit of a video on these already. Um, I'm not going to give you my thoughts yet because it's not, it's, it's not, I'm not ready to tell you my final opinion on them. Uh, do they work? Uh, I think so, but we will, we will see uh, on the review. Okay. Let's talk about the hail kit though, because that's what I really want. I want to re review this and I think, well, let's, let's open this thing up. We're going to talk about these surface preparation things just in a little bit. So it's the hail kit. Pretty nice box, man. They are coming out with their presentation. Looking really good. Uh, doesn't feel cheap. Uh, the other one didn't, it wasn't to me personally. Let me see if I, if I got it in here. Now this one, this one did kind of break on me. I did see that special off the mic. Um, but the box was still good. I mean, you got pretty much, this is like the all-in-one one you can get. Uh, I'm missing some pieces because they're on my other, uh, they're on my pullers right now. But the box in general, right, as of right now, this thing, I like the color on it. Oh, it slides up. Oh, yeah. Boom. Let's just take this off. So you've got basically a double set. Okay, you got two of these. They look, at least that's, that's what it looks like to me. You got two of these. One, two. Let's make sure. And then two of these. A little smaller diameter. And they rounded it off a little bit there too as well. That's that's very very nice. Um, and then you've got. This dinky little crease tab puller right there. I'm fine. I'm gonna find out how interesting this is, how well it works. I'm really, really interested in that. Uh, you get some O-ring remover. I mean O-rings right here. So when you tighten it on your um, slide hammer, it's not going. It's less likely it's gonna uh, unscrew. Okay. Uh, now you've got. I think you got two types of glue right here. So we're gonna find this out. I'm going to confirm that with the rest of my review as I go in here and find out what the difference is of this. We'll, we'll unwrap it a little bit. Let's just see. I think there's a gray one and a dark, dark gray. So uh, let's see. And also, I've got one more thing to show you too. This one is. Let's just unwrap this real quick. So I'm, I'm all about. This is, this is good. Okay, so that's the, that's the dark one. That's the traditional one I've been using, and it is sticky, icky. Um, and this one. And they do wrap the hell out of this thing. Pretty good. Ah, oh, and this is the gray. Oh, okay, I remember now. So, what this is for the 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 gray one is for when when it's very very hot out. I mean, you know, maybe you be a uh, it's real hot and nasty, and the other one just gets too gooey. I think this one's gonna help you a little bit better uh, to help it stick better. Uh, that's why they have a gray one and a dark, almost like black uh, or dark, super dark gray. So th this one is going to definitely help you out on the high temperature situation. Uh, that's what I was told. So that's at least Don Cavanaugh told me about that. 
So that's cool. And to give you an idea, this glue or any of this glue, this has been, I do, I've been using this forever. I'm gonna give you a tech tip though, okay? What you don't want to do is you don't want to take a heat gun, a torch to it, because you, really you're, you're, you're making it too gooey. And then it's, it's almost like, uh, just like crap, like gum and hot gum. You don't want that. You, you want to somewhat have a little bit more elastic, sticky, and, but not gooey. Uh, and that's and so the best bet to do to, to prep your, your glue is just, and only take enough, only take enough. You listen to this, Salah? Yes, sir. Only take enough that's gonna go on your tab, okay? So if I was gonna use one of these little and that first pole is going to be a monster, unfortunately. So I've got a tab like that. I've got a tab like this. I'm going to put probably a little bit. That might be just a little. That might even be too much, really. But we'll, But what I'll do before I do that is I will take the glue and I will sh stretch it. And stretch it. And stretch it. Until... See how sticky it's getting already? This is all you need to do. I don't care what kind of weather temperature you're in. This is what, this activates it, to be honest with you. It, it starts getting really sticky and it conditions the glue to be stickier than sticky. It's stickier than sticky. And this is what, this is what you need to do. And you take your tab. And you put it there, and now this is good, yeah. And what I like to do is just cover it over too, as well. See that? See, I'm covering it. Spread it evenly, and there you go. Some guys like to just do a little mountain right there, so when they push on it, it spreads down but that's pretty good like that you don't want a big glob and this stuff will go for a long time long time if you take care of this this glue don't drop it on the ground uh you can you can expect it's going to last uh, it'll last six months to a year just by just by this little this little bit right there so next we're gonna we're gonna hook it on to our slide hammer Oh, I guess I guess what I what I really forgot to say about these things is they call it the hail kit, right? Because really is that you can actually pull small dents on the rail uh, almost all the way out with this type of technique. Now let's talk about with this glue and these tabs. Sorry. Let's talk about the Glexo, the Glexo surface preparation. So what they are, they're basically little wipes. We'll go in there and we'll, let's open that up because I know you want to see it. And they just look like wet naps, big wet naps. It doesn't smell like anything. And pretty light, not bad. Um, yeah, so you prep this panel with a combination of using this and then you've got a solid pole. That's what they're, that's what they're claiming. Uh, Vince D'Alessandro told me, man, you gotta try this. It's pulling like crazy. Um, okay. So I'm looking forward to it. So enough of the talking jibber jabbering. Uh, let's go take a test. All right, guys, thanks. Uh, now we are getting into the uh, cold glue test, the hail tab test here. And uh, let me just put this on vibe a little bit to my phone. So what I have is I have the cold glue attached uh, to the B&D slide hammer. Now, the reason why I'm using this particular slide hammer and I'll be using like the Kiwi slide hammer, which is super heavy. Um, 
it just works better in my opinion. Actually, it, it is a fact that the heavier the slide hammer you use, two things is that you're going to get, number one, you're going to get a much better shock pull. Um, two, you're less likely to snap and break your slide hammer itself. So it def definitely needs to be a heavier, dutier slide hammer. Now, as you see here, I have uh, two different, or actually four different dents. I've got your typical hailed damage dent, door ding, or dent right there. Now, I'm not going to go huge big one, but I do have a nicer, bigger one right here, but it is more of a crease uh, right there. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to start pulling the one that's out here. And we're, first, we're just going to pull. We're not going to tap down or anything like that. Oh, oh, what am I saying? Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Look, I'm just trying to get that glue off here. Um, before I do that, and what I forgot to do is I forgot to uh, prep the panel with the Glexo wipes. So let's see if this makes a huge difference. I'm gonna back here. We're gonna prep the whole thing actually. It does, it's interesting, it kind of leaves like a little residue on there. See if it goes away a little bit. No, it's kind of like a, almost like a oil film. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you guys can see that. It's kind of hazy, but I'm just gonna wipe it down then. I'm not using any alcohol. Supposedly you don't supposed to use any alcohol. And I'm just gonna try that real quick. I am going to, again, I'm going to grab the slide hammer here. Now with this slide hammer, you can adjust the weights. These weights come off. I think it just comes with one but you, you can add or purchase another weight. I have both weights on them. It's just gonna seem like it's gonna work a little bit better. So the object of the game is don't put a lot of glue on. I think that's about as much glue as you're really going to want to apply. So I'm gonna paste it right there. And you have to push pretty hard on there. I'm gonna do one, two, three. Wow, <laughs> it's not bad. I think I got a little, I, I can probably pull a little bit more on this side here. Mm, yeah, not bad, man. I still got a micro low right there. Still just a tiny bit. We're gonna go for the next one. And before I even do it again, I like to re-prep panel. I mean, we prep the glue. And I'll do that just by this right here. So does the seem to work? I mean, yeah, not bad. Um, we're we're going to find out, right? We got two more to go. And I just want to make sure that this glue is activated. Cold, and they call it obviously cold glue. This is Glexos. Now I did use the original one called uh, Sergio's Cola Fria was great fantastic and we had a lot of learning stuff on that now you can feel it's really really tacky and i'm going to apply that just like that evenly around it you can see good now we're going to go for the next two i'm going to go one right there One, two, three. It, it, I think I missed it. Actually, I know I missed it, but you can see it, it's got some good pull power on it. You see just right there as it's panning across, just missed it just a tiny bit. I'd like to do, do a little twist. Now, one thing I'm going to say, it's not bad. That one pulled better than this one. I, I just can't quite, I think it's coming off the tab. And one thing I can say is that it will take a 
I don't know how to say, say it. The glue, the longer it stays on the metal tab, like you leave it overnight, it seems to really bond to that tab. And the more it bonds to that tab, so that's why I'm kind of overlaying it a little bit around it. The more it does that, the better pull you're going to, to get. So we're gonna go with the next one right here. I'm gonna go right there. Oh, that was, that was a good pull. I'm gonna rewipe that just, just so I want. That was, that's pretty dang, not bad. I think it's gonna take a little bit to do. I'm gonna tap down, we're gonna pull it again. Is it faster than glue? Um, that's yet to be determined. This is a first test. I'm gonna keep testing this, you guys, and see if this is going to be something that is going to be feasible. Some people said that they did a, a really good, uh, it does a really good job for them. Um, based on my, just right now, I, I do see the potential of it. So what I'm gonna do now is, guys, this stuff is sticky. I'm going to use the Kiwi and I'm just gonna put some right across this tab right here. It's, like it's got a nice little, actually I'm gonna kind of wrap it around it. You can see that. Yeah, so there you go. And we are going for this big monster right there. That is actually a crease going this way. And here we go. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> now we're gonna see the true identity of the dent. It did pull it. I put, pulled the majority of that dent. I mean, that was that's some serious friggin' stuff, man. That that's some serious pull power on there. Uh, right now, I'm gonna take a blending hammer. I'm just gonna tap down a little bit, see if we can get a uh, better look. In case you're wondering, I'm using a fast PDR. There's a little bit of a low right in that area to probably have to. Pull again. This one came out pretty well. This one came out probably the best. And these are all one poles, guys. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, dude. How it's, how it's worked out pretty good. Um, 
like I said, probably the, the area that probably needs the most love is right here. Uh, there is a little bit of a pinch here. I didn't tap that down yet. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. I'm trying to look at the monitor at the same time. Let's tap that down. Now one thing about, I'm going super slow guys, I'm just trying to, I'm trying not to glue pull anything now. This one, surprisingly, the biggest one that was actually uh, the hardest and, and the, uh, the deepest came out one of the best. Uh, there is a significant amount that, that lifted and Right there, still a little bit, tiny bit of crease, a little bit of low here. This one came out pretty damn good. I still got a little, a little pinch in there. I just put a low. Okay, and we'll just set this up again, okay. I'm gonna re-wipe again, all of them. In fact, I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is Go for that. I'm just gonna go rapidly to everything. Let's just see how much of real time we can do this. I'm not gonna to try to talk as much. I'm just gonna see how much I can get out. Cause I know what you guys are thinking. I wouldn't be talking and doing all this. I need it. Time is money. And I, I get it. Definitely get it. Let's get going, all right? What we're gonna do is try to pull out the rest of those little lows. That's pretty good, man. That's actually pretty dang good. Um, actually, that was with little glue that I had on there. We need to put a little bit more glue on here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put a little glue right. I'm gonna make it, cause it wants to come off. So I'm just gonna try to wrap it around the edges and that should give it a little Better pull. Let's go right here on this one. Now you probably want to have like two of these set up and now I know why they would, they give you two of them so you can have different, two different slide hammers. Dang man. Amazing, okay. So, I'm gonna tap that down too. Well, actually, you know what? I said I was going to do this in real time. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, this is some of the stuff I'm gonna be, I would have to do. I'm gonna prep that panel one more time too, as we are talking. I, there was no directions given to me, okay? Nobody told me how long I gotta wipe or, or what this is, you know, if there's any technique behind this uh, using these wipes. Uh, I would imagine you'd want to probably uh, put it in a baggie, you know, if maybe it's still wet a little bit. It's got some residue, some kind of residue on there, um, as you guys are, are seeing right there. You know what I mean? Wipe that down. And I think that's definitely going to help big time on that. Okay, so let's. I really don't have it on, like, it's kind of sloppy. So I know some of you techs aren't gonna do it the, the, the whole way perfectly. Gosh, dang, look at that friggin' high, huh? Holy crap, dude. That is, that is remarkable. 
That's good pull power right there. So those wipes, oh man, I wish that would stay on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my old stuff. I, don't I just wanna take a test because I, I like these tabs, but I'm going to use my, well, this might be way too big. We're gonna, we're gonna try it anyways, folks. I'm gonna be reaching for, I'm gonna be reaching for this, ouch. That right there, okay. This is, this is the Cola Fria original slide hammer, but this is, this is the Glexo glue on here. And I'm telling you, the longer it stayed on here, the better it worked. I never have it pull off. It never pulls off the tab, but we're just gonna put it on here. See what kind of pull power we're gonna get with this one. All right. Here we go. Yikes. Damn, that sucker is meaty. So, you know what I really think? I think these wipes are making a big difference so far, okay? Um, the tabs are great. I just think these wipes are just making any of your Glexo glue gonna be really, it's gonna bond like a mofo, like really, really bad, really good in a way, bad in a good way. Um, well, I guess i uh, do some wiping right there. I should, I don't even know why I wiped it yet. I, I should have just waited to tap down. Now, I am using a blending hammer just for the camera shots. And generally, we'll take a, um, a typical tap down, but I've been forcing myself, in case you guys haven't been watching, uh, to use blending hammers because I like it a lot. I'm just not as good as some of these people out there, but I know I'm going to be. Remarkable. Ah, I just made a little low there. I do like this, this hammer. I like this. This plastic, super forgiving. So I am going to. Just switch it up a little bit. We're gonna see the, what, the, what the battle looks like this way, okay? There's that little micro crease in there. Right, about, right there. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get this part out right there, all right? A little micro though. Everything else is looking pretty good. I mean, we got a little bit of a...
pretty interesting. Well, I kind of hope you guys kind of dig the, uh, I'm going to use it one more time. I'm going to wipe this down. Apply that sucker right there. Think like twist it. Okay. You know what I might do? I might add, I might add some. It does pull it. it, does pull it. I mean, you can't say it doesn't. It, it, it pulls it like a mofo. Like, I keep saying mofo. That's, I've been saying that since, since a long time. I got my little terminology that I say. Um, so here's the dealio. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna steal some from my other cold glue. All right, it's gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit. I feel like the little bit I put on there isn't quite bonding. And part of the problem why I, I can't get the more aggressive pull is that the, there's not enough to stay on it, on the tab itself. So let me put a little bit more. Okay, now I really wrapped it around the edges like that. Now we're gonna pull a little bit more. That's what we're talking about. Move this back over here. I don't know if you guys can, if you guys can see that little low there. Let me move it a little bit more there. This is better because it is, it wants to come off. Ah, I did, okay. But. I think that what this is going to, This is going to do is definitely speed up your process. I, um, I think I think if you have a bigger dent, honestly, you guys can probably blend that out, man. Do I think it's, it, it is, is it good? Uh, I think it has potential, okay. I also think this probably won't be my last review on this because So here's my deal. My conclusion uh, of the cold glue, the tabs, the smaller tabs, um, is it worth getting? I, I, I think it is. I, th I think it's definitely has its, as of now, my, my straight up feeling is it works. I think I'm probably doing some things at this point, at this stage, a little bit wrong and I probably need a little bit honing in on some of the details on how to really get that concentrated pull. Uh, it might be some of the might be glue, maybe not a glue. I don't think it's too I don't think I need too much more glue than this. I don't know, but it's working. It's working far as my opinion on how it pulls. It pulls like a freight train. I also think that it needs to bond to this tab a little bit longer. I, meaning it, it's almost like it's got a cure on the tab. So when I'm pulling, it doesn't pull off the, the tab itself. So I'm going to be, I'm going to come back to this and maybe in a, maybe in a month or two, perhaps three months, 
And uh, you'll probably see some videos on my Facebook page, um, probably more than just YouTube. Uh, just keep you guys updated and then I'll do a follow up. So let's just, let's just kind of follow up on this, uh, you know, when I start seeing some really massive improvements on, on the usage of this. So right now, should you buy it? I think, it, I think it's a good buy. I think it's going to work for you. If you don't have cold glue at all, I would definitely get the, the, the other package one, the one that has bigger and smaller tabs. This, if you're a hail tech, I think this is going to help you uh, at, least, at least bring up 80% of your dent and then put a smaller tab on there or well enough for you to blend it out because if you're a halfway decent uh, tech that can blend, uh, I think this is gonna help you. So that's my conclusion. That's what I'm feeling, my first impressions of this review. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about it? Would you buy it? Um, I wouldn't be talking about it right now if I didn't think it was uh, good. I, I think it has huge potential and um, I just, I, I can't wait to, to show more of what this can do. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, thanks for watching.